Hi, everybody. Thank you for listening to this segment of Friday with Father Ron. First, I want to just thank everyone for your continued prayers for my uh, father, Ralph, and for um, me and my siblings as we uh, prepare to um, bury my mother, you know, next uh, Saturday, the 3rd of September. So um, if you haven't heard, she um, passed away quietly on uh, Wednesday morning. Um, for the last couple of years, she's been um, suffering from the effects of congestive heart failure. And while she's not a diabetic, she had some poor circulation in her um, lower left leg and a wound developed and has been increasingly um, getting more infections over these last, uh, this last year. So um, she's been in a little bit of a tough spot and um, decided recently just to refrain from any additional treatment. And um, we pray she met the Lord um, early in the morning on um, this past Wednesday. So thank you for your prayers and concern your uh, well wishes. It means a lot to um, me and my family. So as you know, um, uh, moms are very special people um, in our lives. And certainly that is true with my own mom. Um, you know, the she took on the main role of um, raising her four children and um, certainly offered us um, lots of good advice and she's a wonderful role model, um, great cook provider, um, along with my uh, father, Ralph, who, um, you know, they've been married 64 years. So it's a long time um, to be at someone's side. So thank you so much for your prayers and, um, you know, just all the love and support that not only that I've received, but uh, my family um, as well. Uh, the second thing is this uh, weekend, we're having this race for a blessing and we truly are blessed, you know, in the midst of, um, you know, just all the, the sadness, you know, that comes with uh, illness of someone you love and their death. One of the things that my mother um, really emphasized in our growing up is that we have to be concerned um, for others. So uh, she was born and raised in downtown Elyria and uh, the Blessing House is in Elyria Township. And, you know, it's uh, it's wonderful that we can have this uh, walk race with strollers or our pets. Um, we can run the race as though we are, um, you know, going to qualify for another race coming up or we can just have a lot of fun. It's a, just a really simple family friendly way that we can continue to support the work of the Blessing House. Um, also is our um, parish picnic this weekend. So we have mass in the grass at 11. It looks like the weather will be beautiful. And then right afterwards, um, we will have our annual parish picnic. So as we've done in the before, we'll um, enter the social hall through the gathering area. The food will be right there. Um, one can sit inside or there'll be tables outside as well. So um, if you'd like to bring a blanket, um, you are um, welcome to do that for both the mass and the grass or your lawn chairs. We will have chairs available, but um, feel free to bring your own if you would like. And then um, we'll be um, celebrating Labor Day weekend. And then the, the following Thursday, Friday, and Saturday um, is what we're describing as our uh, Northern Light uh, weekend event. So three nights. The, the first night is going to be a wine and beer tasting. Um, one can, um, for $50, uh, purchase food as well as the tasting. So um, they're $25 each. So you can package, purchase them as a package. Or if you have no interest in the wine and beer tasting, you just want to have a glass of water, um, then the food portion is just $25. So we're trying to make it as flexible for people as possible. Um, on all three nights, we're going to be offering a premium cash bar. So you know, if you would rather not have a glass of wine, but you'd like a gin and tonic instead, um, very possible as well. So that will be available. Um, I've had the most questions about what is a North Carolina style fish boil. So I was unfamiliar with this until a few years ago. And then um, some family friends um, had their wedding there and they had a, a fish boil. So um, typically, you know, you would, uh, it's, a, it's a Atlantic coast kind of tradition, um, you know, shrimp and clams and mussels, usually andouille sausage, corn on the cob, um, potatoes, you just put them in a steamer, um, usually put them in the steamer, like a little bit of uh, uh, layers and segments in baskets, and then you um, just cook them all. Um, they're actually not boiled, it's more steamed, 
And then you just sort of throw it all out on a table nicely, and then you kind of come and feast. Uh, we're not going to serve it on the table because of um, sanitation sort of concerns, but um, so you'll get um, a nice sized portion of seafood. Um, so as you know, food prices have gone up. Um, so that event does not include any alcohol. So it's $50, um, which is really um, a nice bargain for uh, a four ounce lobster tail, um, six shrimp, six clans, a pound of mussels and dually sausage. Uh, we're gonna do carrots, corn, and um, baked potato. We'll have a nice um, salad or slaw to begin with in a, in a um, dessert bar at the end. So come and enjoy. Then again, you can order a glass of wine, a beer, a mixed drink. Um, that would be, you know, a cash bar. So the cash bar, you're, we're also gonna be able to have, you can use your credit card. We'll use our point of sale system called Toast. Many of you are familiar with that from our other Meal. So just um, order like you would at a restaurant, um, pay with a card, get a little ticket, and then um, Sally Keating um, from Sally's, she's going to be our uh, guest bartender. So you can um, come and visit her as well. And then on um, Saturday, we're going to have a bourbon tasting with a barbecue. So similar to Thursday, where um, for $50, you get the food and the bourbon tasting, or for $25, you um, can just get the food. And then, if again, if you don't want anything to drink at all, you don't need to, or you can buy a drink at the um, premium cash bar. And then um, there will also be available um, a traveling humidor, so you can get some um, cigars. So as you know, uh, we have a beautiful front yard. Um, I need to rent tents pretty early on um, in the winter to make sure we get them. There's a lot of events in the fall in Northeastern Ohio. So um, I picked a date right after Labor Day, thinking that it would be the warmest outside for this evening party. The sun sets, you know, um, it's starting to set around 7.30. So we have some light outside. We can watch the beautiful sunset. And we do have um, our uh, Northern Lights out there that we can sit under and enjoy um, our beautiful um, parish property. So, um, so consider that, invite friends. It's meant to be, um, you know, very friendly that way. So if you would, um, we're, we're hoping to have the reservations uh, kind of finalized by the Tuesday evening after Labor Day. Um, so say we only have 50 people for the fish boil, I might order 10 more meals that people can order, but there will be a limit after that because I need to I need to purchase the food for all the all the events coming up. Um, also, we could use a few more volunteers for um, the picnic on Sunday. So if you know you're going to be there and you'd like to help out with, uh, you know, just providing some hospitality and clearing of um, the paper plates and all those kinds of things. Um, you are welcome to sign up. And if you forget to sign up, just please uh, just indicate that you'd like to help. Um, Angela Gibbons, our parish receptionist, will be there as well. So she will um, definitely find something for you to do, put you to work. So again, uh, thank you so much for um, all your love and prayers for me and my family. And um, just know how much I uh, love being your pastor. So uh, let's just glorify God and his blessing and his love and mercy for each and every one of us by praying glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. May God bless you. Have a great day, and I'll see you over the weekend.